is a fragrance that they have not brought out for many, many years, and I don't think that they will, but this is Sweet on Paris. Here is the lotion for it. And then this is the Fine Fragrance Mist here. You guys can see I've used quite a bit of it, though. Again, it's something I'm savoring. I really shouldn't be savoring because um, I want to say that Boardwalk Taffy is pretty close to that one. So I could probably use it, but I'm a hoarder. So anyway, love me for who I am. Okay, the next one is Wild Honeysuckle. And then here is the Fine Fragrance Mist to it. Okay. Alright. Oh, things are falling all over. Yep. Oh, okay. I, I give up. <laughs> Alright. The next set that I have here is discontinued um, in store, but they do still have it online. So if you want it, you can purchase it online. And it is really nice because it is like a perfume the longevity on it, it's really nice it will stay on your skin and it will do you well if you like florals I like florals I like anything that smells pretty this is mad about you and then this is the fine fragrance mist that goes to it and I like it because it's got like the black straw I think that's kind of a cool little unique thing to it all right I'm gonna show you guys the last item that I have in this spinner this is a fragrance that I have bought in numerous times and I will continue to buy this fragrance but once I get done with it I need to be done with it first because my collection is massive and I don't really want to be buying a buttload more even though I know I will let's get real anyway um, but this is Be Enchanted this is a beautiful fragrance um, they say it's more for like fall and winter um, I get that but I think you could wear it in spring and summer I think it's pretty enough to be a signature scent is really nice but that is be enchanted all right guys so that ends the spinner that I have up top here and then we will start with this portion in just a moment stay tuned all right guys welcome back now I'm going to show you guys all of these things that I have in this spinner are all the travel size stuff so this is a mishmash of fall and winter stuff guys so and it's got some holiday stuff in there too so, but all these guys are small little travel size guys like this. So, demon, quiet. Sorry, my cat's sitting there bugging. Okay, so the first travel set we have is the Thousand Wishes. And this is the old packaging. That's the body cream and the, and the spray. Okay, also I have the newest packaging for it too. So I technically have... In the travel size, I have two of the mists and one of the body creams for a thousand wishes. Okay, next, this is the thing that I have. I only got, well, I've got the body cream to this, too, well, body butter to this, guys, but like I said, I'm not showing body butters right now. Also, if you guys want to see a body butter collection from Bath & Body Works, let me know. Um, I can put that up, too, but it's not going to be in this video. This is the um, Spice Pumpkin... Spice Pumpkin Cider. This one was a long time ago that it came out, but it's small. I think it's cute, but yeah, it's a nice travel thing. The next thing that I have here, and the only thing in this set, um, is from Fairy Tale. This is all that I have from Fairy Tale, which is the travel size fine fragrance mist. I love it. It's very beautiful. People say that it smells like um, YSL's lead. Um, I don't think I've ever smelled lead, but. Mm. If it smells like lead, that's a nice fragrance because this is beautiful. Um, I don't know. I have so many fragrances, guys. I don't really be needing to get any other fragrances, but you know I'm going to. Let's just get. I've got like 20 fragrances on my wish list that I still want to buy. I have a problem when it comes to things that smell right and pretty. I have a problem. Okay. Next thing I'm going to show you guys here is a travel size warm vanilla sugar. This is my favorite vanilla of all time. It even beats Victoria's Secrets hands down. I I like, this is the best vanilla that you're ever gonna smell. I have Bare Vanilla. It's a pretty fragrance, but I had two of the sets, so I gave one of the sets to my coworker um, that gave me the Pure Paradise. So, but this is my favorite vanilla of all time. It's just such a pretty, beautiful, seductive, sexy vanilla. This is beautiful, guys. Okay, and I showed you guys this already. That's my backup of um, Champagne Toast. I'll show it again, just because it's in there. 
All right, the next thing that I have, um, oh, look, I forgot. I had another Thousand Wishes lotion. That's cool. So now I've got the travel size lotion and the travel size body cream, which is nice. Okay. So I've got two mist and two of the body lotions. Okay. Next thing that I have here is two of the You're the One Fine Fragrance Mist. There's this one and this one. And I have the full size collection. I've got the body lotion, I've got the body cream, and I have the fine fragrance mist, and I actually have the perfume perfume. So when it comes to the perfume portion of the video, you will see this, I have this actual perfume. And I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. You guys have not tried the, um, you're the one you're missing out. It is beautiful, I'm telling you guys. And it stays on your skin, it is absolutely amazing, I love it. Okay, the next thing that I have here is when they were introducing Magic in the Air. That was a long time ago. But that's what they gave me. <coughs> it's still a really pretty fragrance. Not my favorite. I actually have that in a product that I'm using up. I have it in a body cream and a fine fragrance mist. So I will try to show that. If I miss it, just know that I have still a, fine, still a fine fragrance mist in it and a body cream that I am trying to use up. So if I miss that, you have at least this to see. Okay. Next item that I have here is a travel size Vanilla Bean Noel. Then I have, I really liked this one a lot when it came out, so I have the full size collection of it as well as the travel size collection of it. Cactus Blossom, love Cactus Blossom guys, it's so pretty. I'm trying to get it to focus, thank you. And then here is the Fine Fragrance Mist. And then the next things that I have here are the Mary Cookie body cream right here. Please focus. Thank you. And then I also have the Fine Fragrance Mist to it. So, yeah. And the last thing that I have here is the Merry Christmas Ice Cinnamon Rolls. So, all right. So, that clears. <laughs> this fall winter um, little spinner. Now I will put this stuff away and I'll show you guys the next portion which I think will be my backup lotion. So if you see any lotions that are sitting here, I have them as backups. I will be right back guys. Hold on just a second. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you my extra lotions that I have here. So any of these lotions that you see are lotions that I already currently have in my collection but these are my newest ones that I don't use until I'm done with the ones I'm currently using. So I will show you them right now so we can get into it. I gotta play with my hair though, of course. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pull this one back here. This is a Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. I have that already. Like I said, guys, I'm gonna say this again. All these lotions that I'm showing you, I already have in my collection. You will see them later on in the videos because these are just my backups. Wrapped in sugar. Christmas cookies. Black amethyst. Black cherry merlot. Into the night. Beach Nights, Sun Ripened Raspberry, Rose Water and Ivy, guys. Now this fragrance is beautiful. If you guys like rose, but you're not like a huge, huge fan of rose, I think the Ivy is beautiful in this. You guys should try to give Rose Water and Ivy a scent, a scent, a smell. It is absolutely beautiful, guys. I just this is probably the sexiest, one of the sexiest roses you're ever going to get. I, I just, I can't say enough of this. I'm so glad I have two, two, uh, two sets of this. I love this a lot. Beach Nights. And Midnight Pomegranate. Alright guys. Oh, stay tuned. Be right back. 
right guys welcome back this is my spring summertime um, spinner so everything that I have in here is spring summertime appropriate guys so let's go ahead and get into it okay sorry <sighs> I'm very anal when it comes to my hair after I just like completely restrained it and I did all my makeup and stuff I'm extremely anal <laughs> anyway okay so let's go ahead and get into what I have so I wanted to get, um, the last time I annual cell, I wanted to get the Happy Vibes, but I didn't want to get a full size of the Happy Vibes. So what I did was I got two sets of the travel size Happy Vibes. So this is Happy Vibes, the Fine Fragrance Mist. There's two of them right here. And then I also have the Happy Vibes Body Creams. Okay. All right, the next set that I have here is probably one of my favorite fragrances um, from Bath & Body Works too. I love it. I like Tube Rose a lot, guys, and this one's really nice. This is the One in a Million um, Body Cream. I love this a lot. And then I have the One in a Million Fine Fragrance Mist. Now, I did go back at the last portion of Semi Annual Cell and buy the One in a Million Body Lotion because... All I really had was the body creams, and you guys know I'm not a big fan of the body creams, um, but I did want to make sure that I bought the body lotion to go with this because I really do enjoy the scent. I think it's beautiful and it's very sexy. So I wanted the lotion to it. Okay, the next lotion that I have is the Malibu Heat Lotion. I have a body cream in it, but the body cream is going bad and I know this, but anyway, I do have the Travel Size Body Lotion. All right, so the next set that I have here is the Pink Chiffon Lotion and the Fine Fragrance Mist, and I also have it in the full size. You guys will see that later on when it gets to the spring-summer portion still. I have a lot to go through, guys. Okay. Oh, nothing stays, stands upright. You put it down and it falls all over. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. Another fragrance that I have here is the, obviously, I don't need to keep saying travel size, Lisa. This is, oh my God. It's all travel size. Okay, guys, I don't need to keep saying that. Okay. So this is the Saltwater Breeze um, body cream as well as the Saltwater Breeze uh, fine fragrance mist. And I do have this in full size as well. This one, I was super excited when it came out into body care because it's been in the candles. They've had it in the pocket back. They've had it in all that stuff. And I was super, super, super excited when they finally decided to bring out a body care because I know this was a scent that was um, highly anticipated when it happened because everybody loves the candle and I am no different. I absolutely love the candle as well. This is the Tiki Bay Island Margarita. So if you guys like the Island Margarita candle, you will love the body care because it, exact, it is exactly the same scent. There's no difference. It's beautiful. And it makes me want a margarita. So obviously it's doing its job. Okay. So the next thing that I got here is a travel size. Now this one I got because my daughter's name means this. So Vanessa means this. So when I show you guys... What the set is you guys are going to know and I also have the full size fragrance set in this too you will see that later on so this is the travel size butterfly so Vanessa means butterfly guys in case you're wondering and then that is the body spray with it all right and the last item that I have that goes by itself I didn't get anything else in this but I did want to try the um fine fragrance mist. I know they had it in the full size, but I was not able to get it in the full size, but I got it in the in the travel size. So this is the Happy Easter Tutti Fruity Candy. And I really like that. I think it's really cute. I love the packaging. I think it's very pretty. It's definitely uh, Easter inspired, obviously. But I like it a lot, guys. It's really cute. So that ends the last spinner that I have up here for the spring and summer portion of the Bath and Body Works. You guys will start seeing now um, the full size stuff that I have because we are going to start getting into this portion now down here. I have more stuff down here. Alright guys, I will be right back. Alright guys, welcome back. 
So I'm hoping you guys can see this portion of the video here because this is more Bath and Body Works stuff over here. And then I have perfumes I'm going to show you guys that are from Bath and Body Works too. This stuff is just from Victoria's Secret. I won't be showing that. Uh, I'll show that probably in a Victoria's Secret collection video if you guys want to see that. Just go ahead and leave me a comment below and I will do that. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this stuff right here. So this thing is another Bahamas passion fruit and banana flower. This is a protective hair perfume. So that's what this is. Okay. Then this here is the At The Beach Air, Airbrush Bronzer. I don't really use bronzer a whole lot, but we're going to um, Branson in August, so I may bronze my legs, don't know. That might be a little extra. Okay, so then I have these two items here. I love these. Uh, the Pure Paradise, or the Pure uh, Wonder fragrance, I absolutely loved it a lot. I got a lot of the Pure Paradise stuff, or Pure Wonder stuff, sorry guys. So I wanted to get like the um, Pure Wonder Diamond Shimmer Mist. So I got two of these guys because I like the Pure Wonder a lot. So I got two of those. Okay, and these are my backup fragrance mist, guys. You guys may have already seen these, but um, if you did, you guys are going to see some backups. All these are my backups now. These are things that I don't use until I run out of the one that I'm currently using. So these are just backups. So I have the Rosewater and Ivy back up here. I have the Black Cherry Merlot. Like I said, Christmas cookies. This is my second bottle. It's my backup bottle. Into the Night, my Diamond Shimmer Mist. Twisted Peppermint. Sun Ripened Raspberry right here, my backup bottle. Black Amethyst. Bahamas Passion Fruit Banana Flower. Midnight Pomegranate, love this one, beautiful. It's a beautiful, seductive, sexy fall fragrance. Warm vanilla sugar, full size. And then the newest um, package for the Beach Nights, guys. All right, I'm gonna put this stuff back and I will come back with the perfumes to show you guys. Stay tuned. All right guys, welcome back. Um, I'm going to show you guys now the perfume portion of the fragrances that I have from Bath & Body Works. I am, however, going to keep them in their boxes, but you guys will see the ones that I have the actual fragrances in. Okay, so there is one that I can show you, but that's just because the box flips up. But I'm going to show you guys these two first because these are the older packaging and these are beautiful. This is the Cucumber Melon. You can read that okay. And then I have the Midnight Pomegranate. Love this. Midnight Pomegranate is beautiful, guys. I, there's just something about it. I think it's an aphrodisiac or something because it is. Hoo -hoo, honey, honey, you want to smell good for fall and winter and you want to be sexy? Ooh. That midnight pomegranate does something to you. You're trying to be in the boys of the yard? Get yourself some midnight palm. Alright guys, so this is the Cure Wonder perfume that I have. And I can show you this one because, well, the box flips up. Yeah, there you go. And I have worn this and I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. It's a very beautiful classic looking bottle. Very nice. I love it a lot. It's so pretty. <coughs> Alright, I also have the Rose. And as I said before, I have the um, You're the One. So, that's the You're the One. And then my last perfume that I have from Bath & Body. Well, no, actually, I have one more, sorry, actually. 
This is the Gingham fragrance. That's the 2.7 ounce. And I also have this one right here. This one is like the first time they actually bought. I will show you this bottle. This is the A Thousand Wishes perfume. Now the bottle looks different now than it would it did originally. I like this bottle a lot better than what it looks like now. It's just cuter in my opinion. But this is what it looked like when they first brought out the perfume. It looked like a big like Christmas present and I love it. I wish they would bring this back. But this is the A Thousand Wishes perfume. So that is the perfume that I have. All the perfumes that I have from Bath & Body Works guys. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I had to move where I'm filming at now because the next portion of my fragrances live right here. Um, so don't mind my unmade bed in the background, sorry guys. <laughs> and I hope the window's not giving off too much of a glare. I do apologize for that, but this is where it's going to be easiest for me to film this portion. Okay, so this is also going to be more of the spring-summer fragrances I'm going to show you guys from Bath & Body Works. Some of these you may have already saw... Um, previously or as tr as travel size but you will now see them full size okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started um, we're gonna do okay we're gonna do the one that I just I did recently this is going to be the full size um, body cream and butterfly as well as the full size fine fragrance mist okay and I will hang on just a second I do need to get some Okay. I wanted to make sure that I showed this video because this, I wanted to make sure that I showed this fragrance because this is going to be the fragrance that I review um, this Friday. So I wanted to make sure that it did make a debut so you guys can see what other one that I have. I didn't want to forget it. So this is the orange, orange vanilla twist from Bath and Body Works, obviously. And then here is the lotion to go with it. So that is the one that I am working on this week to film the video for the review on Friday. Okay. And another one from that line. Where is that? Okay. Well, oh yeah, I forgot. So this one didn't have anything else. It had a um, shower gel, which I got the shower gel, but I'm not going to be showing it. But I do have the fragrance mist. So this is the bubblegum pop. Have that too. And the next one that they had that came out in a full collection was the Cotton Candy Clouds. So this is the lotion for Cotton Candy Clouds. And then here is the Fine Fragrance Mist for Cotton Candy Clouds. I really love the packaging. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I do have the um, shower gel too. Beautiful. I love this. A lot of people say this smells like Boardwalk Taffy. And it really, really does, guys. So if you feel like you missed out of Boardwalk Taffy, Get yourself some cotton candy clouds because it is pretty much spot on dupe to it. It's beautiful, guys. I have both of them, and I don't mind that. I like having multiple um, different packagings of fragrances that I like. So these ones are definitely a hit in my book. Okay. The next one that I have is the Pink Pineapple Sunrise. There's the lotion here. Okay. And then there is the Fine Fragrance Mist, guys. Okay. This next thing here that I'm going to show you, I'm almost done with. I have not used it lately, I think since last summer, but I do need to use it one more time. But I don't even think I have enough to do both my legs. But this is the In The Sun Airbrush Body Bronzer. So just like the At The Beach, just in a different fragrance, guys. Okay. All right. So let me move this a little bit. Okay. Oh, I got things falling over. Sorry. No. Ah, crap. Whatever. One second, guys. Alright, sorry about that, guys. I wanted to make sure I organized a little bit more before I brought out the next stuff. Okay. So, the next thing that I have here... I already reviewed that. Let's see. I just reviewed this recently. This is the Fuji Sunshine Guavatini. Here's the lotion for it. And here is the Fine Fragrance Mist. Oh, 
Um, okay. And then I have the Havana Tropical Vanilla and Cherimoy Lotion, as well as the Fine Fragrance Mist. Love that a lot. Very pretty. Okay. Alright, so <laughs> I just found my pairing for this lotion that we were seeing in the fall. <laughs> so this is the Ice Pear Margarita Body Cream with the Ice Pear Margarita um, Fine Fragrance Mist. I knew it was over here. I don't know how it got over there. And then this was just like a little thing that you would hang a loofah on um, in the shower. I just thought it was really cute. But it's just got like the little polar bear. Really cute. Okay. The next thing here is the Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. Yes, the lotion did change quite a bit. I think it's because of the vanilla in there. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's because of the vanilla in there. Uh, fragrances with a lot of vanilla do tend to have their lotions change. Yes, it looks kind of nasty, but the lotion still smells absolutely amazing, and I am still going to be using it because I am not going to be tossing any of my stuff if I can still use it. But anyway, this is the Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, and then the Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. All right, so another thing, the next one we have here is the, sorry, the Pearberry Body Cream with the Pearberry Body Spray. I have not used that one yet. I want to, but I haven't been able, I haven't reviewed it yet because I haven't pulled it yet. Okay. And the next thing that I have here is the Aloha Waterfall Orchid. And this is the Fine Fragrance Mist to it, too. Love the packaging. It's very beautiful, very Hawaii-inspired. Love it a lot. Okay. And the last fragrance that I have in this portion is the Fresh Gardenia, which is right here. And right here. Okay. All right, so I will be back with the next portion of the video, which means I will have to move around yet again. <laughs> so hold on, guys. All right, guys, welcome back. So now you guys can see we move for a third time because this is where I house the next portion of my Bath & Body Works collection, guys. It's all over the room, I'm telling you guys. I'm sorry, but it just is what it is. As you guys can see in the background, I have a lot of uh, storage things back here. Right here is where we were, were previously for my other part of my Bath & Body Works. And then over here, right there, right, ah, right here is where we just got done filming the last part of my Bath & Body Works. So it stays pretty much in a big square, my collection does. Okay, so I did bring out some more of my fragrances that I made sure that I wanted to add in this video because I didn't want to forget them. Okay. So this is the Magic in the Air body cream, as well as the Magic in the Air Fine Fragrance Mist. I'm not a big fan of this, like I said, um, but it's in here. Now, one of my fragrances that I am a huge, huge, huge fan of from Bath & Body Works, they have not brought back. It's just like the Pure Paradise. I have no clue why they have not brought this back at all. I really wish that they would. They've made so many beautiful fragrances. They can come back to this one. So Bath & Body Works, if you're hearing me, please make sure, please, please, please bring this back. This is Dreamy Vanilla Woods. If they ever bring this fragrance back, guys, I'm going to buy like seven sets of it because I absolutely love this. As you guys can see, I have almost entirely used this bottle, but I have not because I am hoarding this bottle because I don't want to use it. This is my absolute number one favorite fall fragrance from Bath & Body Works. My two favorite fa fall Bath & Body Works fragrances are the Dreamy Vanilla Woods and the um, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Those are my two top two favorite fragrances um, for fall from Bath & Body Works. And